What's going on, the Nations? Welcome to another one of these rambly commentaries where I just sit here and you guys watch me and I play the game and I talk about stuff that's on my mind. And I'm adjusting the mic real quick. I want you to notice over here I have a brand new character. Um, yeah, basically a redhead. And I'm trying to level her up so I can have more cars, basically. I'm just going to make her... I'm trying to get her to another hundred levels above this. And then see uh, what I can do with, you know, giving her nice cars and whatnot. But I'm going to play with uh, my main character right now. And maybe I'll switch to the next one if we have time. But I wanted to talk about a couple of things that have been on my mind recently. And uh, mostly it deals with politics. So if you're not really a big fan of political viewpoints and whatnot, you know, you don't have to watch this video. It's, you know, it's going to be a long one. So, you know, <laughs> that's what she said. But it's really not necessary for you guys to watch this. This is not going to be my regular upload for today. It's just, you know, like I said with these rambly commentaries, this is typically how I kill time and express my personal viewpoint on something. So, uh, I'm also, I also forgot to edit something in to today, uh, to the most recent Thirsty Thursdays video, which I'm going to do that simultaneously while talking to you guys. Now, the first thing I wanted to talk about is the Republican Party. A lot of you guys know I am actually registered as a Republican. However, I'm not really a big fan of, of being Republican right now, and I haven't been for a while. Uh, the primary reason is, you know, the Republicans are kind of, well, the most obvious one is, you know, they're very apprehensive towards gay marriage, and, and I'm a pretty strong supporter of gay marriage. I have gay friends, and if they want to suffer through marriage... Like the rest of us, they ha they should have that choice, right? And the lengths that some Republicans go to prevent gay marriage is quite embarrassing to me. So that's why I'm sometimes a little bit apprehensive towards it. But, you know, just that one viewpoint is not going to make me switch parties. Because the Democrats, to me, have never pre proposed anything that was even rationally economical. And that's why I will never private vote Democrat, because I don't feel like, I feel like we don't need any more debt in our, <laughs> in our country, right? So, that's primarily why. Okay, new daily objectives. Oh. Let's see. I thought I was supposed to get money sent to me, but maybe it's my other character. I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what we're doing. What's my daily objectives for today? Capture. God, I hate these captures. It's so annoying. All right. So I talked to you. I'm gonna pick up some cars and do the uh, attempt to do the capture. I don't know. I'll probably do that later tonight when I play with my friends. But what happened? Okay, my car is going back in the storage. Fly low to the ground. I don't, don't want to do that distance. Actually, hold on. Only a few people have done this so far. You know, this is a full lobby too. Okay, never mind. Number that guy over there. Hey, I want to steal you. Hold on, hold on. Slow down. Slow down. Get back here. So yeah, okay. Back to the Republican thing because I know I'm getting sidetracked by stealing cars. <laughs> uh, if you heard the news, um, John Boehner, who is actually from my hometown, uh, he is the Speaker of the House. He resigned as Speaker of the House, and they were gonna have a vote see who's going to replace him. And I was thinking, okay, the natural choice for me, or in my opinion, would be Justin Amash. You know, another, another libertarian uh, caucus guy. This guy ain't afraid of shit. Holy shit. Watch yourself. <laughs> this dude he ain't afraid of shit. Oh, who just ran into me? Hi. Hello. Can I get in this car without you running me over? Probably not. But anyway, there they, they, was a uh, vote in the house today, or they were going to have a vote in the house today to uh, replace Boehner as speaker. And I don't know why this car ain't moving. And the number one contender, who Boehner pretty much handpicked, said, no, I don't want the job, so... Damn. Oh my god, this guy is... Nuts. 
<laughs> I need one more goddamn car. <laughs> Okay. Oh, never mind. I got shot. Well, okay, whatever. That was fast. Basically, it threw Congress into a turmoil, and it's like, oh, okay, whatever. You know, the the establishment pick doesn't, you know, doesn't isn't popular with either libertarians or whatever the so-called freedom caucus is. And personally, it's something I don't really care about. I mean, it just goes to show you the level of infighting. That the GOP, and not just the GOP, but it's just American society in general. We are way too politicized. And like being moderate, like being rational, being moderate, uh, being. Wow, nice work, dude. <laughs> Basically, being libertarian, although Justin Amash is part of that so called Freedom Caucus, it doesn't seem like it's having any sort of grounding. Like people are way too politicized these days, and like. You, you can see how polarized American society has become with the rise of Bernie Sanders and with uh, people who, who are on the right supporting Donald Trump, albeit I think Donald Trump's poll numbers are artificially inflated by the media. So, you know, you kind of understand why I'm a little bit upset. Like every time I, I mean, this is probably maybe a, you know, maybe an instance of culture, reverse culture shock, I don't know. The extent to which American society is politicized or polarized these days is extremely annoying. And I feel like it's really just kind of isolating me and other people who just want a rational person for the job. So, you know, it leaves, you know, come 2016, like next year to the presidential election, it's like, who the hell am I voting for? I have no idea. You know, if Rand, if Rand Paul doesn't get the nomination, I, I have no idea who I'm going to vote for. I'm probably not even going to vote Republican. Definitely not going to vote Democrat because I am not a socialist. And I don't like Bernie Sanders. And I definitely do not trust Hillary Clinton. Um, so it's like, oh, who's left? You know? And I guess that means Gary Johnson's left. So if Rand Paul doesn't get the nomination, even Rand Paul isn't perfect. Like, he's not for gay marriage either, but... Oh yeah, I forgot, I'm using my friend's crew to level up, and I'm not a big fan of that. Ah, I wish I could use my old crew. Whatever, don't matter. <laughs> but, it's like, there's nobody that I can vote for. And I feel like this is like, oh my god, it's just like a deja vu. Because when I was looking at the uh, election last year in Japan, I was like, holy crap, who are my friends going to vote for? Because a lot of my Japanese friends are rationally minded as I am. I only had like four or five friends who actually voted. And one of them is like, you know, he's a mem he's probably a, a sympathizer for Zaitokukai, which is like one of those, uh, you know, racially, uh, you know, corrupt, like, I don't know, what is it? Racial extremist group, like the, uh, I don't know if you know who they are, but they're like one of those groups that doesn't like Koreans. And my friend, who is sympathizing to them was one of the few people I know who actually voted. Oh my, they didn't get it to me. So, you know, voted in the, in the Japan election. So that's why it's like, oh my god, deja vu. You know, our society is so polarized, we have no choice anymore on who we're going to vote for. So, it's a little bit depressing. I'm like, damn, this is like, there's nothing for me here, you know? There's like nothing for me to choose, nothing for me to vote for. And, you know, my friends who are on the, especially my Democrat friends, you know, I, I t uh, first of all, before I go any further, I typically keep friends who are different, different from me when it comes to politics, you know, unless they, the only reason why they would, you know, not be my friend is if they are so politically extreme and politically ignorant or they have, like, you know, their, their viewpoints are just so solidified that it's just sheer ignorance. And if I was to try to correct them with some facts, even if it's not even a political matter, like if it's something that has to do with economics, and I was try, trying to correct them in facts, they would put their lid and eventually delete me off Facebook. And that happened quite a few times, especially with a lot of more socialist people, but hey, there we go, finally got it. It did happen a couple times with some of the more uh, right-wing leaning friends that I well, used to have. But you know, that's just, you know, bullshit. You know, don't worry about that kind of stuff if it happens to you. You know, those aren't real friends. 
But I digress. A lot of the people who I do keep on Facebook and who keep me on Facebook, hey, Ben wants to, wants to play. So I'll wrap this up quickly. The people who I have on Facebook kind of either blindly support Hillary or Obama or supported blindly Obama. You know, a lot of them are like, oh my God, why are you harassing Hillary? Because she's not trustworthy. There's a lot of actual rational minded Democrats who don't like her either. And, you know, it's just, you know, why, why would I support someone who I can't trust? And, and, and that's, that's the regard that I'm going to go into if I cannot choose someone for 2016. If my, you know, if my guy Rand doesn't get elected and I feel like uh, I'm going to be wasting my vote with Gary Johnson, which is how I felt in 2012... I might not vote. And then people are going to be like, well, Zach, if you don't vote, then you can't complain about it. Well, I am going to complain about it because the political system is a bunch of bullshit in America right now. And it's not because of money. It's not because of power. It's not because of uh, stuff that Marxists and socialists like to blab about. It's just because it's broken. The system itself is broken. It's an old system. And honestly... The only way to fix it is for people to be more educated instead of getting their information off the internet, you know? So that's all I'm going to talk to you guys about today. Hope you guys enjoyed this little commentary. I guess I wasted 11 minutes and 30 seconds of your time. <laughs> but I wanted to hear your opinions down below in the description. And, uh, yeah. As always, see you on the next video. Take it easy, Phoenicians.